writes, when I read Bones and All, so much of the story, settings, and characters felt reality grounded, but there was one fantastical element I noticed. It was how you approach the acts of cannibalism. These characters felt more like monsters in the literal sense where they don't simply taste or snack like real world cannibals, but rather devour victims to the bone. Was this simply because of your tendency to incorporate fantasy into your works or was there a deeper intention? This is a very sensible question and of course we can revisit it once the movie comes out. For now I can only speak about the book. I'm going to borrow a phrase from the great Connie Willis and say that I only write about impossible things. Uh, I like to say that I get enough real life in real life. The one novel I have written that we could categorize as psychological suspense, since the characters are interacting with figures who are increasingly sinister and may or may not be real, even though you, the reader, can decide for yourself, I felt as I was writing Immaculate Heart that the narrator was interacting with a supernatural entity. In the case of Bones and All, I conceived of Marin's story as an inverted fairy tale of sorts. So even though the world she's traveling through looks almost exactly like the ordinary world, we are very much in the land of impossible things. If we're being precise, we have to call Marin and Lee and all the other eaters in the novel ghouls rather than cannibals. They are monsters with a supernatural ability. On a couple occasions after the book came out, I found myself stuck in conversation with some literalist who wanted to get argumentative with me, always a dude, and he would say, do you know just how many calories there must be in a human body? Neither do I, but it's a lot. I guess some mansplainers have trouble with a little concept that we call suspension of disbelief. Oh, and did I mention I am currently writing a time travel novel? Also, Erin wanted to hear more about why and how my ghouls are attracted to their victims, and I will be addressing that in the video on romance and self-sabotage, which is on the extended playlist. So if you are not already on my mailing list, just click the sign up link below and you will get access to that playlist.